Hi, Annie. How are you? Hi, Seth. I'm doing just fine. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's really nice to meet you. I wish it was in person, but I was talking to your co-star, uh, Dan Levy, and he was saying that really it's the most fitting outcome that the year Schitt's Creek gets 15 nominations, it will be uh, virtual Emmys because we're in the middle of a pandemic. Precisely. I couldn't agree with him more. <laughs> It must have been, you know, your show took this, I feel like had this crazy uh, arc isn't even the right word because it just kept going up, which is it was this show that not a lot of people saw. And then there was this building sort of cult feeling about it. And then all of a sudden in its final year, it is an Emmy darling. What a fun run that must have been for you. It's been so wild because when we started out, it was really just this little show on the CBC in Canada and we shot uh, you know, in Toronto, and then we'd go up north for 45 minutes and shoot in this little town called Goodwood, Ontario. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, oh, hold on to that for a sec. Um, so yeah, it felt really small and insular, and so to have it be where it is now is, is, uh, is pretty wonderful. Is it true that you uh, felt nostalgic and made a trip back to Goodwood recently? Yep. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is not, not my finest moment, I would say. I was getting a little stir crazy and nostalgic. And I was like, I'm going to take a little drive. I'm going to go to Goodwood. And they have these, uh, there's a bakery in Goodwood called Anina's, which is the best bakery. And they have, do you guys have butter tarts in America? I, I know. I've never heard of a butter tart. Okay. A butter tart is just that a butter tart, but with brown sugar, and anyway, it's delicious. So yeah. I was like, I'll go get a, a butter tart and walk around, and um, so I, I did that, and I was strolling around the streets of Goodwood, and this car of ladies pulls up to me, and they're like, Alexis? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Like they had, because Goodwood, I guess, has become a, a bit of a, a hot spot for tourists now. Sure. So they had driven three hours to come and take pictures in Goodwood, and there I was just wandering the streets like a maniac. <laughs> and then literally three days later, the show Schitt's Creek posted on socials, please, people, stop going to Goodwood. There is a pandemic. Everyone needs to calm. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> it is really funny because, of course, the last, I mean, you might expect to see, like, an Annie lookalike that the town has hired for the purposes of tourists, but you get the real thing just wandering <laughs> around. It was, now I think that they think that I just go there every day just to wait for people to come and take my picture. To recognize you, sure. Um, this is something else that's a little bit embarrassing, but again, this is something that you made the mistake of sharing with the world, which is that when you found out you were nominated for an Emmy, this is going around, you huh. choked on bacon. <laughs> which is, by the way, the way I want to imagine all Canadian actors finding out about Emmy nominations <laughs> is just is choking on bacon. It was one of those things that, like, as I was saying it, I was like, don't say this out loud to somebody. Uh, but yeah, I was I was sitting on the floor eating uh, pancakes as one does, and <laughs> got the news and inhaled or exhaled uh, in a poor way, and yeah, and that's how I I, I rung in the news was. Uh, <laughs> what um uh, I can't even imagine what it was like to have both comedy royalty and Canadian royalty in, in uh, Eugene Lemmy and, and Catherine O'Hara as your parents. Uh, what was it like when you first started working with them? I mean, obviously the scripts are so funny, but you know they elevated so much by being the kind of performers they were. Was it intimidating or, or was it uh, just amazing from the start? Uh, b both. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna say both. Uh, they, are, they have been my idols for so many years. And when I, got, when I found out I got the job, because I hadn't worked for so long, teamed with the fact that like it was my dream job that I booked. I was kind of, I was like floating on this high that I had a job and I was going to work with Eugene and Catherine, but I didn't really realize until a couple of days before when a friend was like, hey, you, you have to now act with Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. 
oh no, 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 no. And it really dawned on me and I had a bit of a, a bit of a moment um, and was terrified going in the first day. It was, I was so nervous. But luckily Dan Levy uh, was equally green and he was nervous too. And so we kind of went in trembling together and got the first few takes out of the way. And then Eugene and Catherine being who they are, it never felt like we were the new inexperienced kids that we were. It was very, it was so warm and awesome and um, they couldn't have been more lovely, so. I was talking to Dan about this, you know, six years ago, he and Eugene came on uh, to promote the premiere of Schitt's Creek. And at the time, I think the only thing anyone knew about the show was the uh, choice that they had made with the name. And <laughs> it was really fun. Uh, one, they obviously, uh, you know, the secret sounds that they have a very loving father-son relationship. Um, but you actually were in the city doing press, and, and I've heard that you actually went back, you went to their hotel room to watch it air, which was probably pretty late at night. I, di I did, and it was. I, I can stay up late. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was one of my very first, of many, but very first moments of what is my life right now, because I was, I was in New York City for press and they put us up at the Waldorf Hotel and we'd just gone out for this beautiful steak dinner and there was a snowstorm and it was, I was like, I was crawling into bed and I got a call from Dan being like, we're gonna watch Seth Meyers, uh, come on up and give me a room number. And so I like pulled on my rumpled clothes and went up <laughs> and um, it, was a, it was like a, impressive number in the hotel and so I went up to the room and knocked on the door and Martin Short dressed in a tuxedo opens the door with a, with a <laughs> champagne and goes Annie Murphy and I was like whoa, 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 whoa. and so I, I proceeded to go into Martin Short's hotel room at the Waldorf and watch my friends Eugene and Dan Levy on Seth Meyers and um it was it was a very very I think it's like a flash before my eyes while I'm dying moment uh, it also seems uh, very cool and I think one of the most special things about all the nominations is that both Eugene and Dan got nominated and I can only imagine how uh, proud it made Eugene you know he's got two kids in the cast as well uh is it true that he just delights in, in watching his children perform couldn't be more delighted watching his kids perform. It, it is, that is actually one of the things that I'm gonna miss the very most about shooting is watching Eugene watch Sarah and Dan. Um, because he stands, he, he goes, first of all, he goes and gets snacks and then he stands behind the monitor and just watches them act. And he's much like a dance mom, uh, or like a stage mother, he he mouths their lines and, and is very sad when they're sad and very happy when they're happy. <laughs> it's all of us, like when it's going on, all of the crew kind of nudge each other and we all take great, um, great pleasure in watching him watch them. It is fully adorable. And I want to ask about Catherine. She made so many wonderful choices in her delivery and diction. Was there a certain word of hers that you enjoyed hearing the most over the course of the six seasons? Yeah, and it's not the word you would expect because it's not one of the, the flowery, you know, pieces of vocabulary that she chooses, but um, she was able to make the word how, just the word how, just H-O-W, uh, three syllables. So it went from how to how. <laughs> and it blew my mind. It blew my mind. She's a, a miracle. Yeah, well, uh, you were very lucky to be that uh, proximity to greatness is, uh, is very rare in this game. And it's really awesome that uh, the Emmy voters recognized how across the board wonderful you all were on that show. And uh, congratulations, Annie. Thank you. Thanks, Seth. It was really nice to meet you. It was the same here.